In today's video, we're opening an old school Yu-Gi-Oh collection with a bunch of tape on the box. What's up guys, we are back with another old school Yu-Gi-Oh collection opening. We have not bought one of these in, it's been a little bit since I bought a collection, so I'm excited to see what's inside. He emailed me at some point uh, what was in here and I already forgot. At first he emailed me, I said, yeah, let's do it. And then it took a few months cause like something happened. Then he's like, hey, I'm back, you know, you still won. I was like, sure, let's go for it. So it really has been a long time since I've seen what was in here, okay? So cut me some slack. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this set of the Gate Guardian pieces, Kazijin, Sangha, and Sujin, original print super rares from Metal Raiders, just like the video, be subscribed to your notifications. Let me know down below your favorite card in the collection. And what do you think we should pay for this collection? I actually have no idea. I can't remember. All right, let's open this thing up. I think this is all raw cards today. I mean, it's in the deck box, so it makes sense. They're all in top loaders, it seems like. So it looks like we might have some cool stuff in here. I remember this collection having like some nicer cards. And then like he said, I had a few other cards. So like some of them should be pretty nice uh in terms of raw cards at least okay let's just go through one at a time we have the elemental hero neos knight so it looks like that is just one card in there elemental hero neos knight from Le oh no extreme victory ultra rare this also has an ultimate rare printing this is the ultra version okay very cool good start then we have an elemental hero nebula neos this is from the collector tin 20 it says ct 15 so maybe it's from 2015 but sometimes they'll say like ct 17 but or ct 14 but they're actually from 17 so uh, maybe 18 i'm not sure how that works there the next card is an old school card the bpt dark magician interesting yeah it looks like that thing it might be on the top loader but i'll pull out some of them if they're like really nice but this one yeah looks like it's had some nostalgia some nostalgic condition action to it the next one is some of these have uh shifted up in the top letter dragon knight draco quest ultimate rare from extreme not extreme victory duelist revolution that's a much better set than extreme victory well that's a nice card not crazy valuable so we're just gonna leave it in there the next one we have is the what is the name of this card red eyes something obviously but i feel like i've gotten this multiple times and i never know the name of it so cool looking card don't know the actual name because it's in japanese Ooh, now we're on to the good stuff breaker the magical warrior let's check this one out i'm guessing because it's a breaker it's so playable i'm guessing it's the stat condition if i had to guess but we'll see it doesn't look like there's anything been from what i can tell so far but you never know until you pull it out of the sleeve okay corners okay a little bit of a ding right there you guys can see that corners got something going on honestly not terrible yeah the back has some play to it there's the square look at that the indent yeah this got some scuffing got a little bit of a pin dot up there so I would have this at mod play which is actually not bad at all so we'll take that definitely better than nostalgic condition so could be a lot worse. All right, not a bad card right there. Let's keep going. We have the Red Eyes BJ. Oh, this is LOB. LOB EN. Okay, so this is from either 2004 or 2005. Let's take a look at this. So at this point, 2004 would be 20 years ago. Yeah, 20 years ago for 2004. That's just crazy. That is crazy. All right, let's see what the rest looks like. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, corner's pretty dinged up. Yeah, that, that one's a heavy play, probably. Look at the back scratches and scuffs like the the ultimate combination for the bag i think there's a bend somewhere on this corner it's hard to see like a, a big bend and then there's a ding corner so that would be heavy play for me all right so so far we're looking at you know mod play heavy play cards but oh man okay injection fairy lily okay that's that's the card let's pull this thing out real quick i mean it's injection fairy lily we got to take a look at it what is it look oh okay i thought it was good and then yeah the ding uh yeah the rest of it's not horrible it does have a lot of scuffing on the back though but for a second i got really excited so injection fairy lily mod play ish on limb but don't worry there's another one upcoming injection lily first edition all right now we've got high hopes for this one this is probably one of the bigger cards it's not crazy expensive i mean near mint injection fairy lily is only 70 bucks now which is crazy cheap if, if you ask me but uh let's see about this but it's been 70 for quite a while so i guess it's hanging out there that is a yeah big old pin dot the rest of it's super clean well not super but pretty clean compared to what else we've seen pretty clean uh yeah that goes all the way through the front so that's pretty brutal that's got to be mod play with that which sucks because without that it'd be light play i think overall still a really pretty injection fairy lily and pretty solid condition other than that one pin dot all right let's keep going let's not get distracted too much we have a black wing dragon okay some of these we're gonna I mean, we're gonna have to check out these we, like if it's black wing dragon ultimate rare we gotta look we gotta take a look i'm not gonna rush through it just because we want to make the video shorter we gotta we gotta check these out ultimate rare i mean this is good stuff okay this card's actually good condition this is the best car, uh condition card we've had yet so far a little bit of something right there uh i mean that's the ulti stamp but there's a little bit of a line right there but the rest of it i mean i would consider this near the thing is like it, it, there's always the tcg player you know there's no mint 
and people have near mint as mint. So if there's a little bit of stuff on it, it can still be near mint. And this to me, it has a little bit of stuff, but it's not enough to make it not near mint. So that's near mint. All right, next up, we got a power tool dragon. This is an unlimb, but still an ultimate rare. So we got to check it out. Will this one be as clean as the black wing dragon? We will have to see the front. It's about as clean. The back is about as clean. That's a really pretty ultimate rare. Not first set, unfortunately, on that one, but that is still a really nice condition card. So great. And they're not all going to be mod play, which is awesome. Because a lot of times when you get a uh, collection and a bunch of them mod play, basically all of them are, because that's just like, you know, how the cards were handled, treated. They were all played with, etc. So they, it's usually pretty consistent, but not here. It looks like we have a power tool. That's a uh, ultra rare, another ultra. We're not going to be pulling out the ultras because we've already seen an ulti. So, okay. Speaking of epic cards, rainbow neos ghost rare yeah okay rainbow neos now we're talking double sleeve look at this double sleeve double sleeve with a giant penny sleeve and then a regular penny sleeve <laughs> so it's like none of them are actually like fitting the card which is pretty funny rainbow neos let's check it out ghost rare can this one be near mint please that'd be nice oh, that's pretty that thing shines there are a couple scratches on the foil let's see if we can get it yeah you guys see that right there there's two scratches that go across I don't know what's going on with the card. You guys kind of see that? I don't know what's going on around there. Wow, that card looks really good. I call that near mint. Even with a couple scratches on the foil, I'd still call it near mint. Of course, I run out of sleeves right on the ghost dryer. We're going to set that down very carefully. All right, I am back with sleeves. Thank goodness, because that was the worst time uh, to lose sleep. So that, wait, do I need this for my binder? This might be going in my ghost binder. Rainbow Neos, first edition ghost dryer, because I'm pretty sure I don't have this. We have not made a ton of additions to that. But that looks like that is a good candidate for that. I'm going to mark it as near mint. Looks pretty good. It's not completely perfect, but my ghost binder doesn't need to be mint. It's like near mint is fine. Because if you're looking for mint, I mean, it's just a pain in the butt. You either got to buy graded or whatever. It's just a problem. So, okay. Archfiend of Guilford. This is retro pack two. So big stuff. Retro pack two. I mean, those secrets are an absolute pain to pull. As you guys, we've opened two boxes that had nothing in them. This has some scuffing on, so probably light play, but... Very nice. Very, VLP, LP, something like that. Wow, this is uh, this collection's pretty good, actually. There is a uh, Ghost Rare Blackwing Dragon. Uh, I already have all the Blackwing first edition stuff for my binder, so I don't need any of these specifically. By the way, a lot of these will be available on Ruxa34.com. I also turned back on my TCG player, so you guys will be able to buy from there. I took a little bit of a break on TCG player because we were selling a lot of $1 cards and it was taking a lot of time, but I have put a lot more things on there because there's some things I need to sell, so we're going to turn that back on for a little bit unfortunately this card is, is this card bent in the middle too okay so you can see that corner bend some there's some look at this you see how the light hits this that means it's bent in the middle kind of yeah there it is it has a bend right there this is a shame because the surface of this card is incredible but it's bent there and it's bent on a corner but there are like no okay it's bent in that corner too there's a that corner's bent that corner's bent and then this card's bent in the middle. And look at the surfaces. No scratches and no scratches on the foil. What a shame. This is actually a really nice... Like, if you're going to buy a Ghoster, like, that you want to be super clean, but it's not perfect condition, this is the one. Because you can't even really see those bends. You just see the beautiful foil. Interesting card right there. I guess it's mod play because it's bent. Man, that's hard to say. That is a weird one. I have not seen a card that clean that has, a, like, three bends in it before. And just to clarify, a bend is not a crease. A crease is where you can see it. You know, you can see that line going through from where it creased. That's where it's been bent, but it hasn't all the way creased. So it's not as bad as a crease, but it's also, like, still bent. So it's, like, obviously not good. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. Just to clarify for some people who might be confused about what the difference is. All right, speaking of uh, not speaking, actually. I thought I just... Did I just pull a card out of a top loader? What in the world? Is this sleeve empty? What's going on? Why is there no card in this sleeve? Just an empty top loader. That's so weird. Wait. Yeah, wait. It feels like I took something out. What is this? Oh, the forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card. Whoa, I couldn't see it there for a second. That's crazy. Elemental Hero Air Neos. Oh, wow. This is a pretty clean one. Check it out. There's a little, there was a little tiny thing on the back, but I mean, really can't see much. I mean, it's pretty clean. Front looks pretty clean. Wow. I mean, this is honestly really good condition. Top corner, maybe a slight whitening there, but honestly, really, really good shape. Definitely a near mint. Okay. Air Neos. For a second, I mean, I thought we just got scammed and there was nothing in that top loader, but it turns out the Forbidden Yu-Gi-Oh card was in there. Wow, that, dude, there's more. There's more. This is a nice opening. Okay, First Dead Rainbow Dragon Seeker. I don't know if I have that. I may or may not need that for my binder. I do not need this one. 
a Ghost Rare Unlimited Rainbow Dragon, but I do uh, do like the card. It's pretty amazing because we got the one from Lars that we pulled and I put that in my binder. Okay, Rainbow Dragon, dude. Oh my goodness. Check out the rainbow. Yeah. What's the one? Taste the rainbow. What? What is that? Skittles? I almost thought that was a cereal for a second. For some reason, I don't know why. Uh, back has a little bit of scuffing, but not much. That's probably damn it. I know I'm. Uh, I'm taking a little bit long on these, but I mean these are really pretty cards. We're not gonna pull out the blue eyes because we have pulled a few of those. Uh, the Rainbow Dark Dragon First Ed Secret from Phantom Darkness. That's pretty cool. We opened Phantom Darkness the other day in Legacy Week GX. Go check out Legacy Week GX if you missed it. There's a playlist on the screen. Uh, I think that is that all the big cards. There might be a couple more. We have a uh, Draco Quest. We have the, this one marked is marked as light play. Uh, that might be on the top loader, Darkness Dragon. Uh, the last warrior from another planet. That's a nice LON ultra rare. Not first dead, but still really cool. Uh, the Javelin Beetle, super rare for premium pack. Man, Yamadron, I love this card from Yugi's. Well, I should probably stop doing that. Well, the mic's not gonna pick it up because it's actually not on the desk, but still I should probably not do that. You know, you don't want the cards to pop out the top because then they can get bent and stuff like that. Kazijin, speaking of, we gave one of these away. This is a Portuguese version. Secret Rare from Forbidden Legacy. We have a Karibo, really cool print. The Vorsh Raider in attack mode for Kaiba. Siriaryu. All right, if you guys like these collection videos, make sure to let me know down below and subscribe to the channel because there will be more ghosts in the, why is this in here? A Ghost from the Past version. I think it's like five cents. That's an interesting one. He must be a fan because he has the secret, the ulti, and the ultra rare. He didn't have the ghost yet, though. I wonder if he has the ghost. And don't forget to check out Ruxton34.com because anything I don't keep or grade will be, uh, was, most of these are probably not going to be graded, but we'll probably be on Ruxton34.com. So go check that out. Uh, there is a Star Trek Joey. We've got, ooh, Dark Magician Girl the Dragonite. Dark Magician Girl the Dragonite. That's a Japanese version. That is Dark Legends 3. No, Dark, no, Dark Legends. Dragons of Legend 3. Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes. Any more Blue Eyes? No, that's it. Okay, that is Legendary Collection 1. And the Starter Deck. This is the one, the Structure Deck Blue, no, the Starter Deck Blue Eyes, whatever. It's the one they always reprint. What is that one called? We've got ourselves a 15th anniversary Dark Paladin from Japan. Then the classic, the original Ruxin logo. Back in the day, before I had my face on there, a long time, probably up to like 40 something K subscribers, I had that as my logo, that Dark Magician. Red Eyes, Mod Play First Ed SDJ. We've got a set of the Sacred Beast, which by the way, we've pulled them now. Go check out Legacy Week GX. Uh, we have Red Eyes, Black Dragon, the Gold Rare. Oh, here's a cool one. Thousand Dragons, Secret Rare. Original print from Metal Raiders. Beautiful on limb. Five-headed dragon. The Cyber Dark Dragon First Edition Ultra. That's cool. If that was an ulti, it'd be huge. Uh, Blue Eyes Shining. Red Eyes Darkness Metal. So a couple of legendary collection cards. That's from Kaiba. That's from Joey. Both pretty nice. The Black Luster Soldier. Speaking of Black Luster Soldier, we have Bonvoy at the beginning. We have the Black Luster Soldier Ritual. Put that with that. Solemn Judgment, Solemn Morning. Recently, we're both printed in Rarity Collection, too, so I have a lot of prints now. Then the Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon Ultra, Cyber Twin, Twin Burst Dragon, so a couple of Blue Eyes, Cyber Dragons, Light Pulsar Dragon. Oh, wait, here's our guy. <laughs> Trident Dragon, the secret rare of a legendary collection 5Ds. This is going to be a pretty expensive one. Uh, the uh, Majestic Red Dragon, the Red Dragon Archfiend, the Secret Rare Red Dragon Archfiend, all really nice. Scapegoat, I thought that was a retro pack for a second, I was like, oh no, it's going to be expensive. No, SDJ, so that's fine, that's not as expensive. Retro pack would be Ultra as well. Monster Reborn, Graceful Charity, some crazy cards. We have the Dragoonity Knight Trident, is this one of the expensive ones? I think this might be, because I think that's the expensive card in Hidden Arsenal 4 now. UFO Roid Fighter, not UFO Roid thankfully, or I'd be really angry right now. <laughs> uh, Elemental so hero absolute zero very expensive card at this moment thanks to edison i'm surprised that hasn't gotten a reprint recently with all the edison reprints they've done you think that would be one buster blader the shining ultimate rare dasher this was money for a while thanks to dpe uh unlim though the blade master common that's random uh the element hero phoenix enforcer elemental hero phoenix enforcer elemental hero phoenix enforcer Two from Duelist Pack, and then one from EOJ Ultra Rare. Flame Wingman, we have pulled this one from DP1. Go check out Legacy Week GX Edition. We pulled a couple, well, we pulled one. There's two of them. Uh, there's Wild Edge, the Ultra Rare Thunder Giant, Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman, 
the elemental hero rampart blaster and finally we have a blue eyes 25th anniversary overall that's a pretty amazing collection there were some really high-end cards some really just cool cards that he collected like elemental heroes and stuff so i enjoyed going through that don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed the video and of course check out rexon 34com for anything that i don't keep for myself it will be available there or on tcg player under the seller name ruxon shout out to toll info show and esther dna america deutscher kk beats brandon cheney ian musa jr barding robert f Chengling, and adelso garcia jr thank you guys for supporting the channel I'll see you guys next time. Peace.